And welcome back to what I believe is the 30th episode of Let's Play Xenogoose. Here we are in the blood of a lady, or whatever the hell you want to call it. And we've met a, a nun from Nysen here. Nysen. Oh, whatever. She's here to try and get Margie back as well. But, she can't really do it. That's what we're here for. Okay, we're gonna head out into the streets and see what we can rustle up as far as information or ways that we can get in. Now, I basically know what I have to do, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll cover exploring around the city and everything in a separate episode, so I don't really take up a lot of time doing it now. First stop, we have to find a way to get into the castle. This vent on the ground will be our way in. Unfortunately, it's locked. Now this old bastard has the key, but he won't give it to me right now for reasons I do not know. Trying to get him to give it up. Standing on nothing. So now the guy won't do it right now. I'm just gonna move on. Oh. I got drawn into a conversation with this person. And I can't break out of it. Yes, yeah, I already have a hotel. Gonna make our way up to the square. And because of the big tournament going on, and there is a big tournament going on, there's all this festivities and whatnot going on. Bart can't go up because somebody might recognize him. So Fei and Saitan go up by themselves. It's all the way up the gates of the castle. Yo, dude! And there is a tournament going on. But that presents an opportunity. So the... F say Faye signs up for this tournament. And does a good job. Might distract the guards. Giving somebody else the opportunity to sneak in. And that's basically what's going to be summed up here. I just went and... Blew that secret, didn't I? Ah, see. Exactly what I was saying. See, I blew that secret but only like 20 seconds ahead of time. So we're good. Now you gotta pick a name when you sign up for the tournament because you can't use Faye's actual name for whatever reason. Not like anybody knows who he is, so it's not gonna make a difference. I will be the ponytailed youth. I guess it's a fitting name. On back to, let's rewind back a few minutes ago, what happened a few minutes ago when that 
Batman Ramses came into the game. My first time playing through the game, I didn't really much care for him. Because, I don't know, I was a kid and I just didn't give a crap. But now I see he's one of the deeper characters in the game. And very important to the storyline. Very interesting character. He's calm, cool, and collected. He has just so much, like, I'll say charisma and skill. That sort of the kind of person who just commands respect from everybody, and everybody either respects him or fears him or both. And it's interesting to see what, how his character develops through the game. I try going back over here to get the gate, the key to the sewers, because the sewers is the way to get in. And this old bastard just won't give it up. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel and fill the nun in. With Preventing me from opening the door. Head back up to the room. And you'll fill her in. I know where the key is, that old bastard has, he just wouldn't give it up, and I don't know why. I'm pretty sure in past, for, in past playthroughs of this game, he gave it up as soon as I came up to him. I'm gonna try again, because I know he has it. Oh, yes, he does, and he listens it. He'll give it to us now. I'm gonna tell him the truth. What are you gonna do with the key? Rescue Margie! And he gives it to us. This is great, this is great. Now we have the key, and our plan is together. And we're good to go. I'm gonna head back to the old hotel room. And this will be the end of this episode. So tune in next time. Also, um, check out the episode where I wander around and explore this city because it's got some interesting stuff.